Hey everyone, we are back on location for Showcase Omaha at Shaker Place, and I am back after a one month hiatus. I know you guys all thought I was kicked off my own show, but I'm back and I'm uh, excited to be here to talk about uh, Girl Scouts with Alexandria. I know a lot of us, when we think Girl Scouts, we think of my full belly uh, with the Girl Scout cookies that are going on this month, but there's so much more to the organization and we're just really excited to have Alexandria here to showcase to Omaha at Shaker Place the, the work that Girl Scouts is doing. So, Alexandria, what impact has the Girl Scouts had in your life? I would say it had an enormous impact. I feel like I've grown as a person. I feel like I've learned so much more than just, like you said, how to sell cookies. I've learned more about myself, how to process my emotions, and be very um, giving and generous and kind to other people, and how to work on a team. Also, like how to speak publicly, um, how to do art collaborations, because there's something we have called Art Venture, and it's this whole thing at UNO where it's a fundraiser, and um, I. Um, like with my GSAG group, Girl Scout Advisory group, we made some paintings and I saw them getting so, uh, like so, sold and you know, and just to see that is just really cool and be able to be part of the community and there's this, there's this like, it's big, it's a big part of my life, you know, so yeah. The magnitude of everything you just talked about is just mind boggling for most people. I don't understand the landscape of, of what you guys all do. It's just so great to hear. How did you first get involved? Um, I started in third grade and um, at that time it was just kind of the baseline level of Girl Scout activities. So as I grew older I realized there was a lot more to Girl Scouts which a lot of high school age girls don't know. Um, there's, like I mentioned, Girl Scout advisory group. So um, in recent years I've been getting involved in more of that and there's Girl Scout retreats. I just recently went on a dog sledding trip to Minnesota. <laughs> So there's super fun parts, and um, there's just a lot to it, and yeah. Awesome, awesome. So I know before before we started filming, I, I was going to ask you originally what your favorite memory was, but now there's too many. Yeah, and so it's, it's... tell me about some of your favorite memories that you've had from Girl Scouts. Well, most definitely the re most recent dog sledding trip, which is something I've never imagined. And being in such a safe environment, like with with like um, these Girl Scouts, um, I've made a lot of friends, and we're just we're just all friends. It's like a family. It's it's um, and all the uh, staff Staff are awesome and okay so dog sledding art venture um, me being able to speak on behalf of Girl Scouts at Art Venture, seeing our art sold, of course selling cookies, but my little my little sister's taking over for that <laughs> part now. Um, and being a part of the Girl Scout Advisory Group has really helped me learn how to be a leader and how to um, kind of hone my skills and those of others and kind of like group dynamics and so so yeah, there's just a lot and the Girl Scout retreats at like Camp Maha or um, Camp Katrin where that's kind of what you think of when you see Girl Scouts like outdoorsy stuff so that's purely fun and games and, and awesome so that's an empowering to be, to be a part of all that so yeah, memories. Well, I tell you, uh, I lived in Minnesota for seven years, and so there'll be a lot of people watching this episode from Minnesota. And I'm going to tell all of you watching that she is tougher than you are <laughs> for, for braving those conditions uh, in the middle of winter. So uh, you all need to know that. So what's next for you, both from Girl Scouts and just in life? Um, so coming up is something Girl Scout Legislative Day where me and a group of other Girl Scouts are going to go down to the state capitol in Lincoln and we're going to speak with members of the unicameral on some like prevalent issues of our everyday life and you know what, what kind of we feel is important and what they feel is important and kind of discuss that and learn how to address those issues and so that's something kind of coming up and then a, more of a long-term goal for me is my gold award which is like the highest award in Girl Scouts. It's 
um, a lot of work, a lot of community, like how can you be active in the community in your own way and um, that's something I'm working towards and of course continuing with like programs, small programs here and there like at schools teaching how to just how to game, like how to play games and how to be active in Girl Scouts, just fun, fun little things like that from here and there and like a thin mint sprint, you know, stuff like that, but also um, the Girl Scout Advisory Group, Big Card, and just kind of things like that, so. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's just so much. <laughs> and I, I just, a lot more than just cookies and, um, but that is Big Card, so those are delicious by those too. Um, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, I tell you what, uh, I think Alexandria one is going to be a future State Farm agent or whatever she met, uh, sets her mind to do. She is uh, an amazing person. Really appreciate you, you joining us. And, and two, um, I would encourage you, any, any of you out there watching this that have uh, daughters that are growing up that want to be a part of something special, you know, being part of something that is, is shaping lives, uh, to check out Girl Scouts, see what they're doing. Um, we have, always will we'll love to sponsor them this month. Check out the, uh, we're going to tag them in this post, check out their Facebook, see what they're doing, and, and they, I know they would love to talk to you. So have a wonderful month, and we will see you in the month of March.